feel like I'm opening a Christmas present. Does anyone else feel like Cricut machines are like a gateway drug for all things DIY? First you want to put cute sayings on a wine glass. Next you're buying heat press machines to make shirts. Then while you're at it, let's convert an Epson to a sublimation printer and get into the whole world of sublimation. And what comes after that? Laser engraving. And that's exactly what we'll be talking about today. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. Today we have something really exciting to unbox and set up. The We Create Vision Laser Engraver. Thank you to We Create for sending me this amazing craft machine and sponsoring this video. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. This box is really big and heavy, so you'll definitely need a second set of hands. But it's packaged really well, so you can be sure it will get there in one piece. God, even this tape is like industrial. That's why I got you the knife. It's packed super well to prevent any damage while it's being shipped. There's tons of foam and super strong heavy cardboard and the tape was so strong, really hard to cut through. I'm glad that they package it so well because when you're buying such a nice expensive machine, you want to make sure that it gets there safely. It came with some basswood to test out in the machine. Another laser bed inside. I feel like I'm opening a Christmas present. Ta da! This is what the back of the machine looks like. It has various different kinds of adapters so you can attach different things to it. They're all nice and clearly labeled. There's a whole bunch of different tools inside, a screwdriver, grease, a ruler, some other little tools, a level, power cords, Wi-Fi antenna. This is the air assist unit. This is the air assist and this is the rotary. One of the best things about this machine is that it comes pretty much all pre-assembled for you. Step one is installing the exhaust hose. First you need to unscrew the four bolts on the back of the machine. Then attach the exhaust hose connector and screw it on with those four bolts you just took off. First you want to open up the hose clamp, so just unscrew it. Then we're going to slide the hose onto this. All the way to the back. And then wrap your hose clamp around it. Step two says to put the exhaust hose out the window, but I'm going to wait to do that until a little bit later when I'm ready to actually use the machine. Now on to step number three, connect the air assist. So you want to take this tube and then on the back right here, there's a little port that this plugs into. Then pull this out. And there's this little hole right here that this connects to. I ran into a bit of a problem during this step when I had to connect the hose to the air assist. 
The opening on the hose was supposed to be larger than the opening on the air assist so that the hose could slide on to that little part. But the hose opening was the same size so I couldn't slide it over. My husband went to the garage and came up with some kind of temporary fix. He had a little piece of tubing in his garage about one inch long that fit perfectly so that those two pieces could be connected together. So now we're going to take the power cord for the air assist and plug it into the back of the laser. And there should be a little notch so just line it up and then screw this on. Step four, connect the Wi-Fi antenna. Next is step five, place the laser beds flatly into the compartment and make sure the detachable tray is in place. So we can lift up the lid. And then we have these two grates right here. We need to slide them down into the bed and then slide it in. And then the second tray. I'm running into an issue right here because I can't lay these two trays flat because the laser is in the way. So we actually need to power on the laser so that we can raise it up and fit these trays in the bottom. The instructions say to power it on at step six, but we actually need to power it on at step five. So we're gonna take these back out for a moment. This is what the power cord looks like, so we just have to connect it. Close this. Then you want to plug it into where it says DC input. And then plug the other end into the wall. Then flip the on off switch on the back. Now I can open this up and the laser raised way up to the top so I have lots of room to put the trays in. There we go. Next I need to plug in the USB cable to the back USB port. And then this will connect to your computer. And now the setup is totally complete. That was so easy to set up. Some other laser engravers on the market require a ton of assembly. I bought a cheaper laser engraver a while back and it required so much assembly, like five hours worth of putting it together. And you know how those instruction books can be. It's not always easy. Next, we're gonna move over to the computer so I can show you how to design and set up your first project. Open up the We Create software. They have a huge library full of beautiful ready-to-make projects. In the upper right-hand corner, click New Project. It's going to refresh to what we're going to see for the material on the bed. Sometimes in this corner here, for the first time you connect it, it will ask if you want to install the driver. I didn't have to install the driver because I already had it on the computer. The software is really easy to use. This is where you select the material. It has different shapes. You can upload images and stuff over here. Up here is where you can group, ungroup, align, position, scale, rotate, etc. This design software is so easy to use. You can find your design file and drag it over to the software. It asks if you want to scale it. Click confirm. Use the double arrows in the corner to shrink the design down, then zoom in to see better. When you have an item selected, these are the settings you want to use with the laser on the side. There's power, speed, the number of passes, how close you want the lines together, and what type of path it is. It detects this as an image, so it goes to bitmap engrave. Here's where you choose how dark you want the engraving to be. I'm going to choose that. Choose whatever you think looks best. Over here you have layers. So the way it works is anything you have on layer 1, it does first. Anything on layer 2, second, and so on. I have this logo that I want to engrave and then I want to cut out a circle so I'm going to create layer, select layer 2, draw my circle off to the side, then drag it over and it lines it right up for you. Over here I'm going to click cut. So now after you're done designing you want to click autofocus. This figures out the depth that the laser needs to be at to cut your design. 
After it's done autofocusing, it refreshes the image, so you can see it moved it all and everything looks good to me. When you're ready to cut, you're going to go to Start. This is where the image preview is. Double check it and make sure everything looks good. This is the estimated time that it's going to take to cut. Then you're going to click Send. Then it tells you you need to push the button on the machine. If you need to stop the machine for any reason, you can click pause and it will stop in place, allowing you to continue later on, or you can cancel if you really messed up and need to start all over again. After the design is complete, you can click complete. Now you can go over to your machine and check out what you've made.